Welcome to another edition of Tube Talk. Welcome to another episode of Tube Talk. Where the roles have swapped. Oh, how the tables have turned. The apprentice has become the master. All the Star Wars um, quotes and things. <laughs> uh, we've got Sophie starting off talking yes. and me interviewing yes. briefly. And then we'll pause and swap over. Yeah. So awesome. the reason that Sophie is being interviewed is that she told us last week that she had a favourite horse. Yep. From the horses that we bought at the sales and she was going to reveal it this week. So Sophie, tell me, what is your favourite horse? I need a little bit of a drum roll, please. My favourite horse is the Darcy Brahma and the Show Up Horse. Darcy Brahma, Show Up Fully. So why was why is she your favourite? She was my favourite because she, when I saw her, first off, um, she, I, she reminded me a lot of Rouge. Yeah. Because I, she, she kind of, she looks like her. Yeah. Was, which was the main thing. And she looked like, she like, I don't know, she has like really like strong legs. Yeah. And she had the came, same kind of, I don't know what you call it, like the same kind of midsection. And I yeah. said to dad, um, cause we've been discussing me having a horse to talk about a little, yeah. a bit over a month ago. And I saw the horse and I said, dad, if you buy that horse, that's the one I want to talk about. Because she looks so much like Rue. And I've got to say, I didn't buy her for that reason. We bought her because we liked her. Not because you necessarily... Yeah, not, no, no, not no, just not because I yeah. said it. Yeah. You guys already had, her eye on, had your eye on her, obviously. Well, she's about... She's sort of, she's the same size as Rue, and she's got the same walk as Rue. She walks mm. as Rue Awakening. She has a she has a real daisy clipper action. Yeah. And I would say that she's also going to be a... Like Rude, she's going to be a crack a million horse. She's got a very fast pedigree, and she'll she'll get up and run pretty quickly. So she'll be a nearly two year old too. Yeah, she's awesome. She's got like around half of a sh of her soul, so you could still yeah. get a share if you wanted to get a share of her. <laughs> Are um, you going to take a share in her? Are we going to have to buy you a share in her? Probably now. <laughs> no, but no, she looks she looks like such an awesome horse, and yeah, I just I really liked her. And so what we'll do is when we do updates on her. We will let you do them. You'll do the updates yeah. and I'll do the interviewing. So that's the deal for her, for the Darcy Brummer shop, for Lee Sophie will be doing the updates and deal. I will be doing the interviewing. Yeah, I just, yeah, she's, she's so cool. Right, shall we get awesome. into this week's horses? Yes, let's do a quick swap over. Okay. Very sorry about that little um, incident there, but the magic of television kind of ish. It is, like I'm here and I wasn't there and we didn't realise we'd push play and I was like going, <laughs> But that's alright. We that's can okay. rip into this week. Yes, we're back to normal now. Yeah. Back, yes, I'm back behind the camera. Okay, so let's crack into Big this. week. Oh, pass me more water. Here you go. Thanks, darling. There we go. Big week this week. Massive week. So we're going to start off with a couple of special announcements. Yep. Before we talk about our horses. So the first one is that we are sponsoring the Avondale Gold Cup at Ellerslie. We are on Saturday, so it's a race set. This is the third year we've sponsored it. The, Gold, the Avondale Gold Cup, the Group 2 Avondale Gold Cup, and it's been a fantastic um, lead into the Auckland Cup. Every year we've sponsored it. The the winners have gone on and won the Auckland Cup, or the first two have gone on and run first two in the Auckland Cup. Last year the winner didn't run the Auckland Cup, but the second and third horses did, and they won. Uh, came first and second, so it's a fantastic guide. Uh, it's a race we love sponsoring. It's a great day out the races. And we've signed up to sponsor it again next year as well. It's becoming quite, I think it's becoming quite a, a prestigious race. It's a hundred thousand dollar race, but it's also, um, I think the rating of it's getting higher each year. It's always a good feel. Yeah, sounds awesome. Sorry, I just got the hiccups. So if you hear a hiccup, that's just me. Um, we are also having a lunch on Sunday at Haunui Farm for owners that have bought shoes in the yearlings or are thinking about it. That's right. So every year we have a lunch at Haunui yeah, Farm. Last we've got year. a Great turnout this year. Sorry, last year you were going to uh, say? I was going to say last year we went and it was so awesome. Yeah, it was hot too. It was so, so much fun. It's really yeah. hot this year too. So we have a lunch and we show the yearlings we've bought. People have taken shares, come along and see them, which is great. And then uh, also people who are interested in taking shares, they come along too. Get to meet the trainers, all the trainers are there, the horses. And then we have a lovely sit down lunch yeah. in the gardens and have a glass of wine and relax. And it's a fun afternoon. So yeah. big weekend and we're looking forward to it. Couple of, win awesome. couple of winners are, will, will help as well this weekend, if yes. we can get them. Well, we've got plenty of horses that can win, so let's get on with them. Great. Okay, so on Thursday at Wanganui, we've got Lyric's Way in the rating 65, 1340. That's right. And so 
I made a comment that you never really hear horses running 1340 and Dad told me that it's unique to Wanganui races. Yeah, so the 13, if you do, it's normally yeah. 12, 1400, 1600. Yeah. And so yeah, the 1340 is unique. It's the shape of the course and where they line the, the starts up. So it's kind of the end of the back straight. And yeah. You don't get 1400 meter races, you get 1340. So yeah. it's interesting. Okay. Let's go on with Luke's So <laughs> fresh up, she ran a really good second uh, at, at Hawke's Bay a couple of weeks back. So sh she's pretty much second up and um, the 1340 should suit her. She's drawn just out of midfield, but she jumps well enough, should go forward, should be handy enough, and she, she's a genuine each way chance. Yeah, she's a, she's a nice chance. Leah Hemi on board claiming two kilos. She's nice. going well. Nice one. And then we also have Black Sav in the rating 65 mile. Exceptionally smart filly, was going to race last Saturday at uh, Alpuni over a mile. She's about the fourth favourite for the new group by New Zealand Oaks, but her bloods were out. They're back good now, so she runs over a mile at Wanganui. Uh, has drawn Barry four into three already. Hopefully she'll sit it's only an eight horse field in, in the one one there or thereabouts. A couple of not bad horses in there, but um, if everything's well and she gets luck and breaks on the running, it's awfully hard to beat. She's a very good filly. Nice one. And then on Friday at Rickerton, we've got She's Graceful and the two year old 900, which is also a unique race because they only do it for like little, little baby horses. That's right. So the babies run over 800, 900,000. 900, they don't have 900 that often at Rickerton. Yeah. Um, she raced over a thousand last time, and probably be nice if it was, we were going twelve hundred with her. But rather than just coming back in distance, but we didn't really have any options, so she's going nine hundred. She uh, ran a very good third last start, strong finishing third. She's drawn out a little bit. She'll probably get midfield or just off the speed, and we'll be looking for her to dash home late. And we expect it, we will be expecting her to finish strongly over the top of them. And she's an each way chance, and it's also a pure bonus race, so. It's a nice race, so it ends up having um, being a good prize money race for her. Nice one. And Sam meant the Collet will ride. There we go. And Jonathan Parks is riding Black Sam, I should nice say. One. Okay, and then on at, blah, 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 blah. on Saturday at Taranaki, we have got Passing Shot in the Open Eleven Hundred. And oh, sorry. Yep. yep so Passing one. Shot, <laughs> uh, very good horse, very fast horse. Uh, he's drawn barrier six of uh, so just outside of midfield but he jumps and puts himself there Jonathan Parks rides he's only got 53 and a half kilos so Parks is riding half a kilo over at 54 um, the real concern for him is the weather he likes it firm don't really want much rain around as long as the dead fall will be okay um, if it got too wet we'd probably have to scratch and go to Matter Matter the following week but um, he'll jump put himself there Taranaki should suit him and as long as it tracks in good order he's a good chance nice one and then also on Saturday in the rating 65-2000, we've got Ativri or Adivari, however you prefer to say it. That's right, her, her run last start actually wasn't too bad. She's seventh, but she got back, it was a slow run race, and she made good ground in the straight. So we thought about giving her a week in the paddock to freshen up, but instead we're going back to New Plymouth, which is her favourite track. Uh, she's won there, she races well there. 2,000 metres suits, Jonathan Parks is back on board. I think the only real... Uh, the, the query uh, for her again is she's drawn wide in Barry 11, so we want to be able to get a nice slot across. And if she's back off a little bit, hopefully the this, this speed is on. With all those things going well and she doesn't mind a little bit of cutting track, expect to see her improve in her last start. Nice one. And then uh, at Ellerslie, we in the rating 65, Billy Amir Smile, we've got Water Diva. We do, Water Diva. Uh, Exciting staying there in, in excellent form. She was second at Trentham on Wellington Cup Day. Uh, she's going super, has improved with that. Um, if anything, she's improved with that run. So we, she's got to carry 60 kilos, but it's against her own gender. So she's up in weight, there's a little bit of a concern, but I expect her to run very well. She's got a midfield draw. So she'll be able to settle up probably midfield or just forward of that. Um, don't want too much rain for her. Want it to be a dead four or better. Dead five she might get away with. But as long as she gets those conditions, she will be a very strong chance in that race. Yeah. And then we've also got What's the Story? Who's either going to be in the Avondale Guineas or the rating 65 2100? That's right. So he's on the way to the Derby. And if he makes the Derby field, he's a genuine winning chance. He's a very good stayer. He's got a heck of a lot of ability. The, the trick for us is getting him in the race. So... The Avondale Guineas is our first choice, he's drawn Barrier 2, but he needs four scratchings to make the field. 
So if he doesn't make that field, he'll then run in the 65 2100, which he probably has to win to qualify for the derby. Uh, he's drawn barrier three in that race, um, which is good. The big key for him is track conditions. He wants a good, probably dead four, probably doesn't want it much worse, but even a dead five he'd run. Hopefully he'll run a little bit handier than he has been uh, in his last few races um, and given clear air to run. run. Uh, we've, put, we've had a little slight cha change of gear on him, um, so he runs straight. And with those things in his favour, and as long as he gets a clear run, he should be a good chance in either race. He'll be, he will be, he's much better than his odds will show if he runs in the Emmerdale Guinness. He's yeah. a very talented horse. And then finally, on Sunday at Winton, We've got Sadler's Rock and the Invercargill Invercar Golden Cup. Gold yeah, Cup. Oh yeah, so that's great. So look, it's a forty thousand dollar race over twenty eight hundred meters. So he's run for great prize money. He's racing in good form. He he deserves to win this horse. He really does. Michael McNabb, who's won on him before, is flown flying down from the North Island. He'll ride him. Uh, he's drawn out a little bit, but hopefully we get a nice run run in transit. And I think it looks a very winnable race for him. I think that as, as long as he sees out the 2,800 metres, I think he's a super chance in this race. And I think he's definitely worth a nice each way bet. Nothing would give me more pleasure than seeing him win. Nice one. And I think that just about wraps up our Go Racing Tube Talk. Bit of a unique one this week. Yes, it was. We had Sophie on, on, <laughs> on, on the front, which is nice. Oh and dear. We'll, no, that was good. And Thank you. We'll be back next week yes. with a roundup from a big weekend. And yeah. we'll be looking forward to races yeah. like... The Derby and mm. and, uh, and and the Oaks and things with our, our contenders who've raced this weekend. Yeah, sounds awesome. So we'll see all of you guys next week on Tube Talk. See you then. Bye. Bye.